हेलो एक बार फिर से आपका स्वागत है मेरे चैनल पे बिटवीन द लाइंस आज मैं रिएक्ट करने वाला हूँ ऑन अ वीडियो जिसका टाइटल है हाउ द इंडियन नैरेटिव विल टेक ओवर द वर्ल्ड विल इट ओके लेट्स फाइंड आउट दिस इज ऑन द चैनल पी जी रेडियो क्लिप्स आई विल गिव द लिंक टू द ओरिजिनल वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन चेक दैट वीडियो आउट एंड देन कम एंड रिएक्ट विद मी गिव द ओरिजिनल वीडियो थम्स अप गिव मी अ थम्स अप लेट्स फाइंड आउट is that um why is it important for us to have our own narrative what is your view on that see the point is that um we started out as an india that was very fearful of the rest of the world maybe because we had been colonized or whatever and so you know import substitution close ourselves to the world um and uh, you know we very moralistic towards the rest of the world rather than participating with the rest of the world that was our view then we opened it up we opened it up certainly benefited us globalizing but then we globalized into a world where essentially other people set the rules and just to quickly point it out when he started he said ke uh, when india became independent we were fearful towards the rest of the world but uh, which is like in hindsight seen as a bad thing like we shouldn't have been fearful towards the rest of the world we should have opened up ourselves up from the very beginning but if you read ncrt uh, in especially the economics part they say that when a com- when a country becomes independent in the f- initial few decades or years it is closed off because it wants to give rise to its own domestic uh, econ- uh, domestic uh, industries domestic businesses so that's why according to ncrt that is the reason why india's economy was closed off in the beginning because they wanted to give support to their own industries and not because we were fearful towards the world so that is a contrast between what we are being taught and what he is saying and um, one part of that problem is that they, they there was a global there is a global elite the you know soros george soros of the world who said oh yes you can participate but we will set the rules for you and we will take and when finally india uh, decided to liberalized the economy it was in the 1990 i think it was on the uh, advice of dr manmohan singh to pv narasimha rao because india was at the verge of bankruptcy so in hindsight liberalizing the economy from the very beginning might not have been a good idea but we waited till a very late period in, in our independent history you what you should think about yourself now that too doesn't work so as indians we want to participate in the world we are accepting you know vasudeva kutumbakam so yes the world is a family we are a part of the world this is not the old import substitution universe of being fearful of the world mm. but we want to participate in the world in our own terms and why shouldn't we we are 1.4 billion people one we third one sixth, one, of, the one sixth of the world, world population yes. uh, will be the world third largest economy in no time at all Uh, we have one of the world's largest diasporas our diaspora is both proud and and successful at in, in, in all across the world there is no reason why we should be defensive about our civilization and our roots right so we want to participate in the world but in our own terms therefore we will be rooted in who we are we don't not going to pretend to be somebody else right now this showing through at multiple levels even even in the west say a uh, rishi sunak uh, doesn't hide the f- fact that he is celebrating hindu practicing hindu right or you have vivek in the uh, united in states. the united states so this is a very big change right right on two day yeah, rishi sunak everyone knows vivek here is vivek ramaswamy who is a, a republican candidate trying to run for the president of united states in the coming Decades election ago these same people would have changed their na- name from vivek to viv or something like that mm-hmm. and tried to fit in we don't do that anymore i said yeah we'll participate but we will do it with in our own terms and while this is happening with our diaspora this is also happening here well even if they are doing it on their own terms uh they do face these question they are constantly ask ke tum to hindu ho how are you going to uh, manage a country which is largely christian or like from a different religion So Vivek was recently asked this question, and he gave a very brilliant answer. He said that my job is not to spread Christianity in America. My job is to govern America. 
So I don't see how that question is relevant. This is not to suggest that we want to invade the rest of the world and obliterate it or dominate it. No, but we will participate, and we will tell our own story. Mm-hmm. Now, as we begin to do this, also remember that the rest of the world, especially this so-called liberal, self-declared liberal elite. I mean, one can debate whether they're actually liberal. I would argue not, <laughs> but. But the fact of the matter is, the self-certified liberal elite find this threatening, because here is a country who, and here are a bunch of people who are clearly succeeding, who we don't quite control. And so they will try in very various ways try and manipulate this narrative. And one of the ways which I have written about extensively is this use of global indices of various kinds. So, you will tell me global hunger index, bottom of the list, global obesity index, top of the list. Are you Hungry bhi hai, obese bhi hai. But us, I mean, think through which one you want to right. be are. Huh. Ah, then you will say, uh, world, in fact, there is something called the World Democracy Index. So Democracy Index, mein we are hun- some 98 out uh, in the list. Hmm. World's largest democracy is 98 in the list. So who is the number uh, top guys? The top guys are Kingdom of Norway, Kingdom of Denmark, Kingdom of Sweden, you know, the main finding is effectively that to be a good democracy or to be a kingdom. Hmm. So this is the this is the sheer absurdity of all of this. Right. I mean, there is a global academic freedom index. In 2022, we were b- far below Afghanistan. Now, at least, you know, be reasonable. Be reasonable. reasonable. If you, even if you're lying, at least try and <laughs> make hide it, it. Hide it. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you know, cannot be this absurd. Right. So the, my point is, this is something we should expect. If you are going to engage in the world, the rest of the world who is losing their position, position in the world in, right. in the system. And by the way, many of these people. Uh, just to point out that the people who are controlling this, like according to him, are self-proclaimed liberals. But the idea of being a liberal itself is giving people the voice, is letting people decide, letting them do whatever they want uh, as per the law. And when they find out that the people are not in their control, then they tend to make up these conspiracies, make up these false reports, according to him. So I, I'm just pointing out the oxymoronic uh, thought in this whole situation. People are being also questioned in their own countries. So there is a new thing called environment, social and governance norms, ESG norms. Yeah, you yeah. may have heard. It's now getting imposed on everything. Now, there is no globally agreed parameters okay some random NGOs came up and created some parameters and they are going around certifying everybody now if you dig a little bit you will discover that the three same three funders who have created all these NGOs and these parameters USAID Soros and um, uh, one more uh, 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 I think it's Omedia or something there are three four like this Um, and Essentially, what they are doing is a form of neo-colonialism, but they are basically using layer upon layer of institutions are trying to tell you, we will tell you that you are good or not. We will give you a certificate. If you are right, we will give you a certificate, we will give you a certificate, we will give you a lollipop. Hmm. And they find it a little awkward because India doesn't play by these rules. Right. Yes, we will import oil from Russia, what will you do? Yes, right. What will you do? That pissed them off so much. So, th- no. So, now the point of the matter is, so this is an environment where we have to keep our eyes open and realize that we are being, there is a huge effort to try and manipulate us. Right. And there are many people inside India who for their own political, ideological, or whatever agendas will participate in this. Right. In fact, one of the key ways in which the rest of the world system actually finds gr- these, these tiny cabal controls and finds its way into our system is uh, essentially not by having very large numbers. Many of these things are not, not, not about very large numbers. They're just small number of think tanks they have abroad. They have their friends in Indian academia, NGOs here. Many of them are Lodi Road. <laughs> in and around India Habitat Center, India uh, International Center, Rusi is on mayor's gates. They do a presentation, they do a knowledge. And many of them have a finger in the system because they are children of our own elite. Right. You know, bureaucrats, judges, etc., their own daughters and sons are 
वर्क इन दीज एंड दे गेट डॉलराइज सैलरीज राइट वही लोग हम लोग को विंटर में छुट्टी पे आते हैं अमेरिका से और इंडिया हैबिटेट सेंटर में हम लोगों को पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन में समझाते हैं हाउ टू इंप्रूव इंडिया तो दिस इज हाउ वी आर बीइंग मैनिपुलेटेड सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट एन इंडिजिनस नैरेटिव एज वेल एंड वी हैव टू बी विलिंग टू गो आउट देयर एंड नॉट ओनली इंटरप्रेट आवरसेल्व्स टू देम वी आर नाउ रीचिंग अ पॉइंट वेयर वी शुड बी विलिंग टू इंटरप्रेट देम एज वेल आई ई टर्न द गेज right 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 that is a power move that's a power move right and so let me give you a concrete example of this yes sir yo yeah. you will regularly see some some election happens some political event or something happens in india economic political event then you will read our top newspapers times of india which by the way is the world's largest english language newspaper okay right right the largest it means in circulation that it is being circulated to the most number of people times of india however in its main edit page will have an editorial by some random western um academic uh, maybe some associate professor at some random university and he will get to write about why elections in karnataka went somewhere or madhya pradesh went somewhere now how does he know right 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 now this w- now the equivalent of this would be if some uh, um you know associate professor of one of our universities was writing in new york times about illinois may kuch election hua ya you know new york state mein kuch election hua he is now no one in new york times is never going to give space to an indian based in india no matter how good he is mm. space in their edit page on dissecting american politics right they just would get laughed out right They and why would that be it's a question we should all think about right. but we are happy to do it the other way around right. in fact we routinely do it why because that we have we still routinely do it why because of this pro- because of the stockholm syndrome that we have we still have a hangover of we sort. have a hangover of some sort right 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 now i'm not saying that occasionally it's okay right but we do it routinely you right. just look at any new I mean, times of india hindustan times um, economic times hindu all of these top line indian magazines or you look at the guests in our television channels random uh, from brown university ya columbia university some random associate professor will come may even have an indian name it doesn't matter mm. why should we give space to them right after all will the flip side work same thing for example when for example very senior official from india uh, goes abroad right right now you go and look at when they talk on some stage somewhere you see who their equivalent they are talking to they are not talking to their own equal they are usually talking to somebody who is many layers below them right. in the ecosystem so uh, uh, of that place right 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 so min- it works it works i'll tell you when uh, when some of the indian so called liberal journalist go uh, and talk to the western media about conditions in india then it works then they are given a platform and uh, if they're talking negative like if they pointing out the flaws of the system drawback of the indian civilization and all of that then only they are giving a given a platform because then it suits the western narrative about india minister from india will be quite happy to go to uh, the uk and s- go to chatham house and be at the same stage as a uh, top so level journalist right. but right. a journalist mm. would the equivalent happen the other way around no, no. right well uh, he is right but uh, i don't see even the current government implementing his thoughts like whenever uh someone some of a foreign delegate comes in they are shown a far more than what is shown to our indians but that being said we are, i kind of think it is being like imbibed in our values like atithi deva bhava and all of that so maybe because of that and maybe because of the stockholm syndrome it is like created a cocktail of both the things well that's it for this video uh, that was my reaction to how the indian narrative will take over the world well it was kind of misleading i don't they did not say that how it will take over the world but it will because 
uh, I don't know if it will, but it is emerging that the South Asia is becoming a major superpower in the world. The powers, the balance of powers are shifting towards the East. And let's see if it continues to do so. China already is the second largest economy. We are, be going, to be, we are going to be the third largest economy soon, according to him. And uh, let's see. Let's see if the balance shifts and if we are given the same respect uh, as our Western counterparts. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my video. If you're here till now, then do subscribe. Give a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.